Hello and welcome to the video how to report on request detail inputs object. The request detail inputs object stores the input questions and the responses that a user has provided to fulfill the service request. In this video, we're going to use the out of the box report called request detail with request detail inputs in order to get additional information about the service request record. So let's get started. Before to create the report, let's submit a service request record so you can have more understanding on the values that you'll see in the report. In this service request test, you can see I have three questions. Basically, the request detail inputs report is going to fetch the questions and the responses that we are providing here. I'll proceed to respond the questions. Question 1, test. Question 2, B and question three, option two. Click on submit. Now, once this record has been created, let's proceed with the report. From the reports tab, click on new report button. Search for the request details with request detail inputs report and click on continue. In the filter section, change my request details to all request details and click on apply. Also, we're going to add a filter so we can fetch the information from the request record that we just created previously. Select request definition equals service request test and click on apply. Now, let's remove these default columns. Go to the outline section and add the next columns. From request detail, we need incident and service request or request definition. Now, from request detail inputs, you can add the request detail input number, input prompt, and response. As you can see, this report will show the information that we provide on the service request test. This concludes the video, how to report on request detail inputs object. Thank you for watching.